Today I'm going to show you how to make a nativity scene inspired by Van Gogh's Starry Starry Night. So this is Van Gogh's most famous Starry Night painting, although he did do a few more. Where he's got these amazing um, stars in the sky with swirls. Um, which is a bit different to how we normally draw a star, because we'd normally draw a star something like this. Like this. But Van Gogh stars are more like this, with swirls. But astronomers say that Van Gogh's stars are more like stars really are. So that's what we're going to try and do. We're going to make a nativity inspired by Van Gogh's starry night. So hopefully it will look something like this. So we're going to start by using oil pastels, but we'll use some chalk pastels as well. And we're going to start not right at the top, not right in the middle, just slightly in between the middle and the top and start by doing a big upside down V and that's the manger. And then go back over so you've doubled your lines, so you've done parallel lines. That one and that one is parallel. So parallel lines are lines that follow the same path but don't ever meet and then coming down here we're going to have the side walls of the stable and then a line across the bottom for the floor okay and then in here we're going to draw the manger so to do that you need to do a diagonal line there a diagonal line there Join it up here and join it up there. And then do one X and another X, which are the legs. And up in this top part here, we're going to do a window. So we'll look out on that amazing sky that we're going to be drawing. And in the window, we'll do a plus sign. So we've got four planes and that's the basic manger. Right, so we also need to do baby Jesus in the manger, so we will use a light coloured um, oil pastel and a white oil pastel to do the simple lines that creates that shape. Then inside the manger, using your oil pastel, you do some lines that show the basic wood background of the manger and here do some lines that show the wood here and then we'll start on the sky so we need a white oil pastel and the biggest star was over the manger that's why the kings knew to follow it so we're going to start by doing a swirl with a white oil pastel here and then some more stars in the sky. A swirl here, a swirl there, a swirl here, and a swirl there. I'm going to put the picture of the, of the stars. You can see that there's yellow and oranges and then blues on the outside. So we'll go on to a yellow oil pastel and we'll follow the line of the swirl and do the same with the others. And then there's some orange in there as well. And then some blue dotted lines around the outside. It looks a bit like this. So you can see the dotted lines. And now we're going to go into using the chalk pastels, which are smoother and easier to blend with your fingers. So we'll take the brown and fill in the lines where you did the oil pastel earlier. You don't even need to colour in really well. You just colour in like this. 
and then use your finger to blend. We can use a blue chalk pastel to put the sky in the window. Okay, whilst I'm colouring in with chalk pastel, we'll go on to fast forward. Okay, so I've used the chalk pastels and I'm going to go back in and add some more details with the oil pastels again. So I'm going to use this colour of oil pastel, yellow ochre, to just reinforce these lines that we did before, being careful not to go over the baby. And then use the brown again. And maybe even the black. So that we see the lines. Because the stable was built out of wood, panels of wood. So that's what we're looking at there. The same in there, we'll use the yellow ochre one on the manger as well to look at the panels of wood. Now we need to do something down here so on the floor there would have been straw because remember a manger is and a stable is where the animals come in so there would be straw down there for them to walk on. So we'll also use a yellow or a pastel and put some yellow bits in. Might put some straw in here. We need to use the peach oil pastel to colour in the baby's face. Maybe give him a little bit of hair and an eye because you can just see the side of his eye there. Don't you? And do some lines on here, which is how he was wrapped up in swaddling clothes. This is looking pretty good, but I think we need to do a little bit more with the sky. And I want these stars to stand out a little bit more than they are. So I think I need to use the white. So I'm just going to go over these white lines that I did before to make them stand out a bit more. Now that I've coloured in the sky with chalk pastel. And then I think I'm just going to get a yellow chalk pastel and just fill in these gaps here and there I have completed my Starry Starry Night Nativity.